Hey everyone, Mad About Minifix here, and I have exciting news. The images of the LEGO Harry Potter 2022 Summer Wave have been released. I'm surprised we didn't get any leaks for them, but they have been officially released on the LEGO Shop at Home page. They will be available for purchase June 19th. And like I did last year, I'm gonna take a look at what sets are coming out this year. I'm gonna start with the one that I've been wanting them to make forever and I can't believe is finally going to exist. That is set number 76408, 12 Grimald Place. And this set is amazing. There are nine minifigures, 1,083 pieces. And let's just talk about these minifigures for a second. Creature, like what? A new series, finally, that's not in his Azkaban outfit tongs and there's something exciting about tongs that i'll show in a later picture a new kingsley this is very exciting now this along with all of the other sets in this wave are not cheap this will retail for 150 dollars canadian 120 usd 200 australian dollars and 115 great british pounds so here's the interior and I already see so many things that I am in love with. Tonks has a pig face and other hair so that you can change her like she should be able to. The one that came with the burrow was garbage so I'm really glad that we got a new Tonks. This extendable ear build looks amazing. The black family tapestry i love so much it's one of the pieces from the movie that i just really adore and so i'm so glad to see it in lego the piano so cute and there's one thing about this set that absolutely blows my mind just like the real 12 grandma plays the house can fold in so that the two buildings on the side cover up number 12. Here's a closer graphic on the back to show you what it looks like when it's folded up and when it's in the middle and when it's completely out. This is definitely number one on my wish list this year for sure. The next one that I've always wanted and that I can't believe they're making is the Ministry of Magic and this set is absolutely crazy because it is a Deathly Hallow set which we were told was not likely ever going to happen but all of these minifigures are from the deathly hallows so that's really a good sign and it's extremely exciting this is set number 76403 it has 990 pieces it is also not cheap it will retail for 130 canadian dollars 100 usd 160 Australian dollars and 90 Great British pounds. Looking a little closer at the minifigures, we've got a new Umbridge Yaxley. I didn't expect. Also, that minister guy, I can't pronounce his name. That's really cool. And then it has Rincorn, Hopkirk, and Cattermole that you can polyjuice into Hermione, Harry, and Ron, which is <laughs> so exciting. Mary Cattermole, who I did not expect to be in this set at all, Arthur Weasley, and a Dementor. Here's the back, so there's offices, the telephone booth, I think that's supposed to be the Department of Mysteries over there, they've got the flu system, Arthur Weasley's office, and Dolores Umbridge's office has kitten plates! It's so oh my gosh, I'm, I'm obsessed. I am very obsessed with this. I'm really excited for this one to be released as well. Another location I'm really excited to finally see is set number 76407, The Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow. Did they need to make another Whomping Willow? No. But The Shrieking Shack is a huge bonus. We've got a great minifigure selection here, Hermione Ron Harry, and their new, like, messy variant clothing. And we've got three out of four of the Marauders, including a werewolf version of Lupin, 
a grim version of Sirius and a rap version of Peter Pettigrew. What's interesting about this Whomping Willow is that it's on a tilt, which the one from the Whomping Willow set that came with another part of the school and like the Fort Anglia was not on a tilt, it was just straight up. It's very nice on the inside. It's got this flap to like escape out the side or enter from the Whomping Willow. It has the piano, which I don't know why, but I love that there's just a piano in the Shrieking Shack like so much, the idea of it. I just, I don't know. It's weird and I love it, so I'm so glad it was included in this set. By the way, the set will be retailing for 120 Canadian dollars, 90 dollars US, 150 Australian dollars, and 80 great British pounds. Something that I find really intriguing is the fact that there are four wizard cards included. So I'm not sure if they're going to be making new wizard cards or if they're just the same like 13-ish that already exist. And I didn't mention this rock thing with the glow-in-the-dark moon, um, but it's this cool like mechanism thing to turn it around and switch Lupin into a werewolf, which is neat, but I'm not sure it was necessary to include. And by the way, that set has 777 pieces. The next set I have mixed feelings about. It is set number 76402, Hogwarts Dumbledore's Office, with 654 pieces, as well as six minifigures. Just from looking at the exterior, I really like that it's not all straight, because that makes it look really bad when you combine all the Hogwarts sets together and it's just like this one straight line, especially like the new modular version. I'm also loving the mini figures that are included. Mrs. Norris, finally. I always was really sad from the previous Whomping Willow set that included Filch without Mrs. Norris. Like, that would never happen. A new variation of Filch, which looks pretty nice. Snape, Harry, Dumbledore with a baby fox, which is so cute. Madame Pince, which I flipped out when I saw that Madame Pince was finally made into a minifigure, and Hermione. If you are enjoying the new modular style, you will be happy to know that they're continuing with this trend. Here you can see that. Unfortunately, they're keeping the green roofs as well. Now, here is where I'm torn. Am I happy that Dumbledore's office has more room for them to actually walk around in? Yes. Do I wish there was a Griffin staircase included? A hundred percent, that's a missed opportunity remaking Dumbledore's office and not including the Griffin staircase. Like, whose idea was that? The pensive. Why can't it look like the CMF pensive that Dumbledore has where it's like a plate? I don't like this build version where it's like curved over we have one that looks like it already and i'm not a fan i like we're getting gryffindor's sword i'm really excited for the library there's a cool feature if you push these knobs on the back the book will come out of the wall as if they are moving on their own i'll give them that that's really neat there are wizard cards included in this as well, and it will retail for 110 Canadian dollars, 80 USD, 130 Australian dollars, and 70 Great British Pounds. I think what draws me to this set the most is that Harry comes with an invisibility cloak, which I don't have because I didn't get that version of him from the first CMF series that came with the invisibility cloak, so I am happy about that. With three more sets left, we have set number 76401, Hogwarts Courtyard, Sirius's Rescue, with 345 pieces, three minifigures, and it retails for 
65 Canadian dollars, 50 USD, 80 Australian dollars, and 45 Great British pounds. The minifigures honestly aren't all that. I do really enjoy that there's a serious, but there's a serious in three of the sets this wave. I never got him from the Expecto Patronum set because the Expecto Patronum set was kind of lame, but now I have three different ways to get him, probably three sets I will be adding to my collection, so yay! It appears that Buckbeak is a different color this time, which is interesting, and Hermione has the Time Turner piece, which is exciting. I don't have that piece yet. There's honestly not a lot to this set. There's a moving staircase, which is neat. I'm not sure what that office is meant to be. Then there is the cage that Sirius gets trapped in. There's a little area to feed Buckbeak. And then here's the back of the box. There's a new broom mold, which is really cool. And two more wizard cards. I like this set. I feel like it's similar to Fluffy's encounter of last year where it's a bit on the smaller size kind of empty and although i like it and want to add it to my collection i still haven't gone fluffy's encounter as well it has like the creature thing so i'm getting similar vibes this is the one set of the wave i am not into and will not be adding to my collection if you saw my summer set video from last year you will know i felt the same way about fox and the same way about Hedwig. I'm not a fan of these buildable creatures. I like more of things that I can have in like one big Harry Potter world display, whereas this is not that. This is its side kind of display piece. So it is set number 76406 Hungarian Horntail Dragon with 671 pieces, retailing for 65 Canadian dollars, 50 USD, 80 Australian dollars and 45 great British pounds. I did like the headwig that came in that big collectible objects set, but I'm not sure if these buildable creatures are selling well, I guess, or they wouldn't keep making more. There's a golden egg, a broom with that same new broom mold, and a new outfit for Harry. But you know, that's pretty much it. I don't know if that flame piece is new. I haven't seen it before personally. Here are the dimensions. If that's something that interests you, that you can turn the wings around just like the last time. The mouth can move open and shut. And here's a closer look at that minifigure. I do like it. It's nice. And here's the back of the box. Not much. <laughs> the last and cheapest set for this wave is absolutely adorable. I'm a huge fan. Set number 76400 Hogwarts Carriage and Thestrals with 121 pieces and oh my gosh there is a baby Thestral. I really love this Luna figure. Luna is my absolute favorite so I love any set that she comes in to be honest. These Thestrals are stunning and if I didn't like the rest of the set I would get it just for them. The baby I can't get over. It's so adorable and I really love that mold. It makes me wish that they made a new mold for Padfoot instead of using that generic dog. The carriage itself looks to be a very nice build and it's cool they included a little treat in the back. I'm very excited for a Quibbler piece to add to my collection. I didn't get the original Luna from the CMF series, one of my most wanted figures by the way. So glad they included that. This set is kind of a combination of two different scenes, which I find very interesting. And it will be retailing for 25 Canadian dollars, 20 USD, 23 Australian dollars, and 18 Great British pounds. And with that, <laughs> those are all the summer sets coming out June 19th for the Harry Potter series of Lego I guess, theme. Uh, except we don't know the D2C yet and we don't know the advent calendar as well. Those haven't been released yet, but they'll probably have a later release date. 
I really love the majority of these sets and I'm so excited. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, as always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel and check out my previous videos.